This is the first part in a four-part series on the functions of electrolysis. This one is looking at electroplating, which means coating something in metal. Over here, I've got a number of examples of where we might see metal plated objects. You might have a gold plated watch, a copper plated mug, or a silver plated teapot. What this means is they might have a cheap little bit of metal underneath, and then they've got a very thin layer of metal that's been put on top of that. And this is done via electrolysis, which uses an electrical current to force a redox reaction to occur. Now, if you want to plate something in metal, what you want to do is create a solid metal. So that means what we're going to try and do to it is undergo reduction, where our metal ion is going to be accepting an electron to form a solid metal. So that happens at the cathode in an electrolytic cell. So if we're wanting to plate a substance in metal, it must be attached to the cathode of our electrolytic cell. The example around me here is an example of an electrolytic cell which can be used to plate a metal in copper. I can see the fact that I've got two electrodes. One is made of copper and the other one is made of whatever metal I want to plate. In this solution, I've got some copper ions which are going to be reduced to copper solid at my cathode. My anode, you can see here, that's made of pure copper, and being an anode, it will be oxidized. So therefore, what's gonna happen is my anode is gonna replenish the copper ions that are being plated onto my cathode. So therefore, I have a continual supply of copper and I don't run out. The cathode here, because it's an electrolytic cell, it's connected to the negative terminal of our power supply, and that's gonna force electrons towards the cathode so they can be accepted and reduce the copper ions. You can see here, the copper ions, they got an arrow, they're saying that they're going onto our cathode. And this is the process of electroplating. I could write half equations here, at the anode, I can see the copper solid is forming copper two ions, and at my cathode, the copper two ions are forming copper solid. The key aspect of this is the fact that reduction occurs at the cathode, so where you want to plate your metal must be attached to the cathode, where the ions of that metal will be forming a solid, undergoing reduction. The last thing you might be asked about in terms of electroplating is to calculate the amount of metal that might be produced at the cathode. To do this, you follow the normal electrolysis reaction equations, such as Q equals IT and Q equals N times F. If you play around with these equations, you can generally come up with a solution to any calculation problem with electrolysis.